Theo Joseph's pass. O'Connor finds it. Russ down low. Here's Crosby off the end. Apron to the net to Russ. Save wide and loose. They poke it to the net. No signal. The Penguins are celebrating as if they may have scored. Drew O'Connor was in the vicinity. Pittsburgh's going back to their bench. They're putting the headset on, but the goal that was called as such, as you just saw, the mic, ref mic wasn't working, but what a crazy start here. What a crazy start, and once again, the Penguins get the first goal here of the hockey game, as it was loose. It's underlying, but it's loose. Oh, yeah, now, great look there. Now to Brinkett, skips it in the air to the Penguins zone. This Latang pivoting away from Alex to Brinkett. Crosby knocked off the puck, Latang. Spinning, turned over, loose in front, they score! Lucas Raymond's backhander beats the Delkovich and the Wings answer back. To the Penguins. It wasn't the next shift, but it's two shifts later. And Chris Latang just gets his pocket pick. It's as simple as that. Trying to do too much with the puck and to bring it. Strong on the stick, and then from a bad angle, he throws it to the front of the net. Tough to threat. Difference in how this power play has looked here recently. Face off win there for Malkin. And the Pens control. Brian Russ shot. Glove save Lyon. Pedersen. Bouncing puck. And that came right to Debrinkit. Stopped by Nick Delkovich. Loose in front. And the Wings dig it out. The Cider versus Crosby. And they've gotten it a few times here in the first. Game. Those two have had their interactions. Early more at Cider's career. As in comes with 10. Stay! He gets victimized in the first Detroit goal, and then makes up for it. It's Gino gets it up to Raquel. And how about that play by Raquel? Ben Rama, and he must have heard a yip, yip, yip from his winger, Michael Bunting. And Bunt just puts it in a place where only Chris Letang can get it. Right you mentioned it, Porky. These 25 seconds here, they are important as far as managing the moment for the Pens. Situational hockey. Just as I say that, they turn it over to break it back in front. Raymond scores! Lucas Raymond off the turnover, his second of the night. It's 2-2. Just a great give and go there between Raymond and Debrinkit. Raymond's got those hands, man. He is really feeling it. He has been the most consistent goal scorer. And hold the phone here a minute. Extended offensive zone time to get the momentum back. Carlson flips it out the center. Riley Smith settles it to Russ. Maybe something here. As Russ comes in, looking at front cross, he scores! There it is! Sidney Crosby! Puts the pens in front and ties Phil Esposito for 10th all-time in points in the National Hockey League. How about this pass by Brian Russ? I can hear Sid screaming at center ice all the way up here. Hey, 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 hey! And Russ, he waited. He waited for the perfect time when Sid got away from David Perron and throws about a 40-foot saucer pass. Bam! Knocked out the center, Carlson for Sidney Crosby. Marcus Pedersen stood up by Sider, and Pedersen's lucky he wasn't called there. In comes Russ, scores! Top shelf, Brian Russ! But this all started in the neutral zone. A malfunction at the junction by the wings, the turnover, and Riley Smith spots Brian Rust. And no hesitation. And the wings are angry. Because the Penguins might have got away with one there. The turnover by Marcus Pearson. Crosby takes it, scoops it back towards Detroit Ice, where Petrie will pump it forward. Strong. Across Sider. Bunting right there with him. Gets to Petrie, a drive, scores!
And another late goal. This one's from Jeff Petrie. And Detroit back within one. He did get back in the defensive posture. But I didn't like the way the Penguins defended as it went D to D. Marcus Pedersen's there to block the shot. That's a tough one there. You know, either you turn around and take a guy, or you go out to block a shot and you block it. 50 seconds on the power play. Up the wall for Sprong. Pass knocked to center. Jeff Carter's got a step. He's got the puck short-handed. Carter scores! Big Jeff Carter with the biggest goal of the year! And the Penguins on a shorty go up 5-3. And then big Jeff Carter. It's all Turkey! He forces the turnover. Get to the loose puck, and how many times in Jeff Carter's career have we seen a goal exactly like that? Sider kept in. Pedersen smacks it wide. Edmondson tracks it down. Lobs it out to center where Comper will chip it in. Raymond back in front. They score. Larkin gets one back for Detroit with 7.04 on the clock. I have no idea why Eric Carlson leaves the front of the net there. There's no need to leave, leave the front of the net. What a play by Raymond. He picks the stick of Pedersen. But Pedersen's going to eliminate Raymond. Everything's fine. But Eric Carlson ran from in front of the net, leaving Larkin. And what a play by Raymond to find Larkin. If he can finish this baby off with 519 left in regulation. Detroit to it in their own zone. Red Wings, of course, thinking the same thing. Here's Larkin all alone as Raymond, he scores. Hat trick for Lucas Raymond, we're tied. And Eric Carlson decides to pinch. He doesn't have full support. There's no need to pinch there. You're in a one goal game, fighting for your playoff life. And that's just perfect execution by the Wings and they make the Penguins pay again. Raymond comes away with it, launches it to center, look out, two on one, it's Larkin with Sider, Larkin gripping, ripping, save the Delkovich! He plays it, but the whistle sound. Hands it off to Raquel, drives the net, saved by Lyon. Crosby's out there, he's got the puck. Carlson loads up, shot, scores! Eric Carlson, the hero! The Pittsburgh Penguins are back in a playoff spot with an OT winner! And Sidney Crosby has a thousand assists to boot! What a on top! Oh, well, here's the first drive, and here's what I'm talking about, the Sid winning the battle against Comfort right there, feeding Carlson. And it's a rolling puck. So it's a knuckle puck. And I think Carlson knows that. And that's why you've got to turn your wrist over. Because if you don't turn your wrist over, you airmail about 10 feet over the net. What so a it's reaction. a waffling puck. <laughs> you see it waffling like that, and he just lets it fly. That's so hard for a goaltender to pick up. And Lyon was way out the top of his crease. And big as he let that thing fly. And look at the boys.